video, we will deal with gesture recognition. You can handle gesture directly with UI Responder, but it's a pain. It's a pain and also you have probably difficulties uh, to tune it appropriately so that uh, all developers will reproduce similar gestures. Okay. So the idea, the natural idea, is to have it integrated as a dedicated class, uh, as a dedicated mechanism in iOS. And in fact, this was done in iOS 3.2. Okay, so very early in the process. And this class that handles standard gestures is called UI Gesture Recognizer. And in fact, it's very nice because there is a way to handle standard gestures, tap, long press, pinch, rotation, swipe, pan, screen edge, but you can also use it to invent new gestures, okay? Uh, new ones or compositions of existing ones. The fantastic manual will tell you more, but I will try to give you an overview of this gesture recognizer. Once again, the principles are very close to uh, those of a touch. So when you create a UI gesture recognizer, you have several methods to support. Okay, you have to support when touches began, when touches moved, when touches end, when touches are cancelled. Okay, there is a property state associated uh, to uh, events, as far as I remember, uh, that can state that it's possible, it's started, it's changed, it's ended, it's cancelled, it's failed. Okay. And uh, you have to answer to a delegate that is called UI Gesture Recognizer Delegate. Okay. And this allows you to have a fine management of activation and deactivation of your gesture and to have a fine management to combine gestures, okay? But in fact, it's only a basic for subclassing. And if you want to create new gestures, you have a look at the fantastic manual and you go directly to these uh, methods from uh, UI Responder, okay? But in fact, uh, there are several subclasses of predefined gestures. And it's nice because you don't need to work for these ones. So let's have a look at all these. Okay. The first one is UI Tab Gesture Recognizer. Okay. So you create it and when you create it, you associate it to a target plus a method. So as soon as a Tab Gesture Recognizer is detected, okay, you contact this class and you invoke for this class this selector. And the methods prototype that is expected is of this sort. So you get into parameter a UI tab gesture recognizer and then uh, you insert the new uh, gesture recognizer you have just created uh, in the list of recognizer. So uh, you can configure this gesture recognizer, you can request the number of tabs that are required by default, it's one, and the number of touch that are required. So I will make a distinction between a tap, a double tap, or a single tap with two fingers, double tap with two fingers, etc., etc. So it means that from the tap gesture recognizer, you can generate lots of interactions that are very, very different. The second one is the UI long press gesture recognizer and you will see that they are more or less following the same principle. Okay, so you associate a target to a method when you create this recognizer and you have to answer, to, to, you have to pass as a selector, sorry, a method that has this prototype. So it's similar to the previous one, but uh, you pass not a UI tap gesture recognizer, but a UI long press gesture recognizer. And you can configure your recognizer by setting up the number of tap requ required, the number of touch required that are still one by default, the minimum press duration, and the allowable movement. Okay, for example, if I do 
a double tap with a long press and if I move a little bit so th this will be the sensibility below which you will not cancel the long press. Okay. So once again you can change these parameters and by default the long press is a half a second. The same with the pinch gesture recognizer, so similar mechanism to create it and similar structure of the handler that is associated to it. Once again you also as previous one to add it in the list of recognizers and to configure it you have two properties. The first one is scale, okay, the change you will support since last call and you have also the velocity in terms of point per second. UI rotation gesture recognizer, always the same mechanism. The only thing that changes is the uh, prototype of the invoke method. You create it, you associate the handler, you uh, insert it to the list of recognizer, and here uh, you configure it with rotation and velocity. Now, this is the uh, gesture recognizer for the swipe, okay? Always the same thing. You create it, you associate a handler, you add it to the list of recognizers, and then you can specify the direction left, right, up, down, and the number of touches that are required. Okay, so there will be a distinction between this and this. Now this is the same with the pan, okay, the pan is not exactly a swipe, it's just when you move uh, something. So uh, once again you create it, you associate the uh, appropriate uh, handler, you add it to the gesture recognizer, you can still configure it with the minimum number of touch, maximum number of touches, okay, and the default value is basically uh, one for the minimum number of touch and the maximum uh, NS UI integer max which is not realistic because you have not that many finger and even room in the screen to put that many fingers uh, and you have also extra functions that allow you to uh, get information about uh, uh, the translation in a given view. Uh, you can uh, also uh, detect velocity and things like that. Okay so uh, in fact uh, you have uh, functions that allow you to fetch information when the gesture recognizer has been activated uh, from your parameter. You have a UI screen edge pan gesture recognizer, so it's the same as a pan, but it's a pan that starts from the edge of uh, the device. Okay, so once again, a very similar approach. Uh, the configuration is that you specify from which edge you should go. If from top, then it will be uh, from top to bottom, left, from left to right, etc, etc. And you can also specify all, so it will recognize any uh, UI screen edge, okay? And you also have uh, extra uh, functions you can invoke. So, you have a quite large catalog of gestures that are available, okay? It's like a button, a phone booth. Uh, it's useful when you use standard gestures and basically this is 99.99% .99 of the situation okay but you may want to create your own gestures okay be aware that it might be more complex if you use all these gestures all together because in some situation you may have some conflict for example the swipe the pan okay there might be some uh, equivalence okay uh, and some pan can look like to swipe and vice versa so it's difficult to activate them all in a given application but even if you have such conflict okay you have uh, plenty of possibilities and to be honest you really have to use it because it's so much simpler than directly using UI responder like for the shake motion for example then it would be a pity not to use such mechanisms. Thank you for your attention See you later.